All right, you already know we're on that unprofessional shit. What's up, guys? I'm back. <laughs> we're at the next battle here. Um, starting off versus Terrakion, pretty scary. But we basically have the best answer in the whole game. So actually, I lied. It's not scary. He's going to pull a double switch, though, into Basculin. Okay. I see you, dog. Um, kind of threatening. Adaptability, liquidation is going to hurt a lot. I've got... Basically two switch-ins, Dragapult or Zamazenta. Um, Dragapult, the more offensive switch, although it's going to get 2 it KO'd. Or Zamazenta won't. I don't know how valuable either of these Pokemon's health is going to be, though. So, I'm probably going to preserve Dragapult's health just because it's more of an offensive threat. But then again, what am I really going to do to that thing in return? I think it will go Dragapult. As Liquidation does not do as much as I thought it would, which is good. Um, and from here, I will just go ahead and throw off a Shadow Ball. It's pretty nice we got the Disable. It's basically, he has to switch. So this is very good for us. He's going to pull a switch into Weezing. I'm not sure if this is a 2-8 KO. But it is. Excellent. Okay, cool. So we'll go for that again. Uh, if he Dynamaxes, we'll lose Dragapult, but I don't really care. Because then he has no Dynamax, and that's really good for us. So. He's going to Optisac, Weezing, which I think is the right play. Uh, we're either going to see Trakion come back in, or maybe if he's got a Dark-type, something that can take a hit. Mawile. You know, I'm like very sure this thing dies, but I do want to calc this. So we'll take a look at that. Alright, Mawile level 84. I really need to see if they have the um, calculator for this, because it's very tedious having to put this in every single time. Alright, plus one for the choice specs, and then we'll go with a Shadow Ball. It does not. Okay. I should give Mawile some more credit. <laughs> Alright, so knowing that, we will pull a switch into Arcanine. It'll take play rough very nicely. And from here, we can probably just throw off a Flare Blitz. Or a Wild Charge if we're expecting Basculin. Um, he's probably fearing Will-O-Wisp. So, I will just throw off Flare Blitz. I just want to know what his initial response is. And it's going to be Vasculin. Makes sense. From here... I'm just going to go back to Dragapult. He could well, he could predict that with Crunch. I'm actually going to go Zamazenta. See what's popping. As he opts to go for Liquidation. Close Combat should pick it off from this range. And I'm not really seeing a switch in. Mawile does not have Intimidate, so it will not appreciate close combat. I do need to preserve this thing's health, though, especially for that Terrakion late game. So that is a 2 at KO. I can take it and take some Sucker Punch chip, which I don't really mind, honestly. Yeah, 9% is not going to make a big difference. So, Basculin coming back in. He probably just wants to Aqua Jet. As he actually goes for Psychic Fangs. Interesting. Close Combat would have picked him off, but I thought he was trying to get Aqua Jet Chip just to put this in range of Terrakion. But Bravier is going to come out. Very nice play by my opponent. I could have thrown off a Draco, but I did not want to let Terrakion set up. So, that was my thought process there. I'll go hard Zeraora. As he throws off a Brave Bird. Um, no real Plasma Fist switching has been shown. So I will just let that rip. We got pretty fortunate in terms of team this time. So we'll go ahead and knock that out. He's going to reveal Solgaleo. I wish this thing still had knockoff. So 
so I think my play here is just to go Arcanine. As we get the Flash Fire boost, which is really nice. Uh, I believe Basculin might die to Flare Blitz. I'll predict it. No! Alright, that was a bad play. Terrible play. Mistakes have been made. Failure! Alright, let me not throw. <laughs> uh, we'll go into Pangoro and click Parting Shot. If he stays in and gets damage on me, I don't really mind. I can just go into Dragapult from there. But I'm expecting Trakion to try to want to come in on a Dark type move, as it does. Yep. So this allows us to go into. Honestly, Runarigus is fine. It'll allow in Basculin, but I don't really mind that. I could actually just Will O Wisp too. All three of his Pokemon are physical attackers, so I will do that now that I'm thinking about it. As we burn Basculin, really good for us. Uh, I'll go back into Pangoro just because I don't really value its health as much. As unfortunately he gets a crit, but we can just throw off a Drain Punch. It'll knock this out. It'll do good damage to Sogaleo. Not going to allow this to set up. I'll just click Drain Punch, go down to close combat here most likely. Or Earthquake if he has that. If he Dynamaxes this, I can just Dynamax my Runerigus in response. Um, I really don't care about anything this wants to go for. In fact, yeah, I will just do that. Because Trakian can't beat me one-on-one, -on -one, so... That does nothing. So, one more should knock it out. We pretty much secured the game, and I think he knows that too, so... Very nice. Team always putting in work. You know, I'm still surprised this thing made it back. Why this Pokemon over so many over other beloveds like Garchomp? It's nice that we're getting him back with the DLC coming out, though. I'm excited about that. So, starting off here, probably just want to go for Brave Bird. I don't see a resist. <laughs> uh, they could Spiky Shield, but they end up going into Darmanitan. We do a nice amount of damage to that. Our counterplay is looking like nothing. Makes sense. Um, I could go to Cinderace and take one hit, but this thing could be really nice late game. I don't know what my opponent's team looks like besides Maractus, but I can tell this will probably be valuable. So, I can either let it take a hit or sack something else. That's basically my play. I'm going to sack Grimmsnarl. As he goes for U-turn, okay. Berserker coming out. Hmm. He's probably just going to Sword Stance. Or Iron Head. So I'm comfortable going into Cinderace here. As we can just pick this off with Pyro Ball. I still think it's so ridiculous that they give this thing Libero in uh, randoms. It's not even released yet. It's totally not fair. I'm excited for when this does get Libero released, though. It's going to be a lot of fun in OU. Alright, Marshadow coming out. That's kind of scary. Um... I wish I had U-turned, but I don't. I kind of want to get damage off on this, but the fact that he went into this basically tells me this is his best response to Cinderace. So knowing that, it's probably smart to hang on to this. I can just probably s go into Pissimian. Although if we start setting up, that's kind of scary. He pretty much just needs to attack this. So I'll go Pissimian. Yeah. And I'll just go ahead and get off some Earthquake damage. It'll do like 50% to this. And if he goes into Maractus, I can just get a free switch back into my Cinderace, so it's good for me. As he does end up making that switch. Um, 
Yeah, I will just go back into Cinderace. As unfortunately for him, he misses Leech Seed. That sucks. Sorry, dude. Power Ball will take this out. He's going to go back into Mars Shadow. To which I'll probably just sack my Pissimian. But he might want to try to set up here. That damage... It's actually pretty easy to calc that damage. I can probably still use the old calc here. Depends on what they gave it in this generation. Okay, so 75 and then Pissimian. Or level 84, I believe. Let's see here. 84, yep. Okay, so based on that, it looks like he has to be banded. Let's put choice ban on this. Yeah, the only way he could do that much damage is if he's choice banned. So knowing that, it's, this is a little bit easier to play around. He's definitely just going to click close, close combat, though. So I got to pick a sack here. Um, it's going to be Grim Snarl. Yep. And from here, we can honestly go and DD get up Psychic Terrain. That could be nice for late game Cinderace or Pissimian. So I'll go ahead and do that. We take close combat, which is nice. He'll probably sack Darmanitan or reveal more Pico. That makes sense. Okay. Um, this thing is a little bit threatening, actually. I don't want to just get damage off on this. It's just annoying that Aura Wheel gives him that um, speed raise. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Nothing I could really do about that, but it's looking like Mamoswine picks up a KO here, which is really good. So He's going to go ahead and protect. I really don't think this saves you. Conkeldur is going to be sent out here, and we can get a 2 hit KO with Earthquake. Nice. nice. So Marshadow comes back out, claims its kill. I think the sack is going to be... Maybe Mamoswine? This is kind of a tough one. i got to think about this. Well, Corviknight loses to these two. So I'm thinking Corviknight might be the sack. Yep. So what's nice is he only has two more close combats now, thanks to pressure. As we can go into Cinderace. Pick it off with Pyro Ball. Dermanitan will be sacked here. Unfortunately, none of these are 100% accurate. I don't like that. Thankfully, we connect. So, they could protect here. Or bait high jump kick. This is kind of, uh... I'm gonna click it. I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Uh, I don't know, this is kind of scary. Um... Hmm. Okay, thank goodness. So we're able to knock that out, and that's probably gonna secure us the game. I think that we should Dynamax with... Cinderace here. So we'll go ahead and throw off Max Flare. As they are also going to Dynamax. Makes sense. We do a good amount of damage to that. I don't know if Max Knuckle will knock us out. Doesn't look like it. So we get off another Max Flare. Actually, we're going to go ahead and Max Guard. That way we still have a turn of his Dynamax. And then Max Flare in the following turn. Which basically what this does is it's going to make sure that this is in range of um, Mamoswine Ice Shard after Dynamax closes out. Because I'm pretty sure from this point he has to Shadow Sneak. And Mamoswine will take plus two Shadow Sneak. So, Yep. Well, it's actually plus 2.5. But we should still take it, I believe. Yeah, this is big Mamo. Very nice.
That was pretty close, though. I'm not going to lie. That was a very scary game. All right. We got Scotty08 with the Clay Doll. This Pokemon, it was so great in its debut generation, and now it's just trash. Permanently trash. It's a shame. So, I don't want to take a Toxic. I think I'm just going to U-turn out into a Bomasnow as he reveals Preserker. Interesting. We can threaten this thing with Bolt Beak. It might live that, though. And he could always go Clay Doll, but I think it's my play. Yeah, that's a course of action I'll take. Go for Bolt Beak here. If he switches out into Clay Doll, it's kind of whatever. We'll just throw off a Crash in the next turn. As we get a crit. Awesome. You'll love to see that happen. He's looking at his screen right now like, really, dude? Alright, Scrafty coming out here. Um, kind of threatening. Depending on its set. I'm going to go hard into Gardevoir here, as he's going to reveal Conkelder. Okay. As I trace Guts. Not really helpful here. I'm going to save this, because just based on what I've seen, this is very good versus his team. Um, that being said... I mean, I could pivot Mandibuzz. It's kind of dumb, though. Or I should just, yeah, you know, I should just throw off Moonblast. It Oko's this, so why not? I just didn't really want Claydol coming in for free, but I don't think that can be helped. And honestly, him getting Claydol in is not that bad because we can go Obama Snow, we can get up Aurora Veil, vale, which is really nice. Yep, so we'll go ahead and do that. And that's going to help alleviate pressure from Scrafty if it tries to set up. It'll make Gardevoir's job of checking it a lot easier. So. Damn. It's so sad to be far-fetched. This thing is slower than a bomb is snow. Goodbye, my child. Alright, big Scrafty coming back out. We always go hard in the Gardevoir. We do not want to let this thing get out of hand. Really nice there. We actually trace and intimidate. That's super good. So it basically just nullifies the attack boost he got. So we'll throw off Moonblast. I don't really need to predict anything in this scenario, so. Back to Bomba Snow we go. Get the hail up again. As he rapid spins for no apparent reason. <laughs> we can Blizzard here. Knock this thing out. It's looking very bleak for my man. He's down 6-2. But Cobalion's coming out. That's kind of scary. I gotta debate what my options are here. I think I should go into Poltergeist and then Shell Smash. Okay, well, Zero Aura will always outspeed it, which is nice. Mandibuzz is kind of walled by it. So, Earthquaking for damage is an idea, but I think I need to put pressure on this thing. So I'll go Poltergeist as he Dynamaxes. Easy read. Talk about me. I'm godlike. I'm nice as hell at this game. We can Shell Smash up here and then win. Yeah, that's how you do it. It's a beautiful 6-0. <laughs> Uh, we'll probably get like one or two more. Probably one more. Alright, starting off here, not a good lead for us. Um, Fairthorn's a great mon, but Weezing's not something I want to see. Probably has Fire Blast or Will O Wisp. So, expecting that, I can go into Dermanitan here. Yep, and I can just throw off a uh, Flare Blitz, which is nice. Weezing being weakened or gone is really nice for Durant or Halucha for late game, so. He's going to reveal Chandelure. Alright. I can just throw off a Rock Slide now. It'll knock this out. I 
Really nice pivot by my opponent, um, going into Quagsire from there. He basically made it so that this did not have to take a Flare Blitz. So I'll go into Ferrothorn and get up some Hazards. He'll throw off a Scald, no burn, thank goodness. It's a little scary that we let Chandelure in for free, but I've got Vaporeon and Mantine, so it's not too terrible. So I'm expecting a T-Spike to go up here. I'm gonna risk my Ferrothorn getting burned and throw off a Spike. Yeah, because I've shown that Dermanitan is my initial switch in. So now I'll go Dermanitan. And I think from here, I'll just, I'm just gonna Flare Blitz again, yeah. It doesn't really make sense for him to try to pivot around it, just because Chandelure will get rocked uh, by the hazards. And then from here, we can just throw off a Rock Slide. It'll knock out Weezing, we'll go down in the process, but that's a good trade overall. Yeah, that T-Spike's not that annoying for us. Really, only Vaporeon is hurt by that. So I think from here, I'll go into... Probably Mantine. As Claydol is going to come out, okay. Probably looking to get off his Rapid Spin. I'll just throw off a Scald. As he goes into Quagsire. Is this Water Absorbed? It is, okay. That's kind of annoying, but I mean, Ferrothorn is always a free switch. Knowing that, I kind of want to Scald again, expecting Chandler to come out. As he does not make that play. Alright. So I've given my opponent too much credit. Um, in hindsight, I didn't have to make that play because hazards will do the work for me. So that was really shitty, letting that get poisoned. <laughs> um, Leech it here. As he's just going for it. Wow. All right, dude. Power Whip would have done over half to that, even if I was burned. So we'll Leech Seed again, expecting a switch out to Chandler. Kind of fumbling the bag in this one, but I think we've set ourselves up in a really good position from the start. And Claydol doesn't appear to have Rapid Spin. I think he would have went for it, like, immediately if he had it. So. Claydol will come out here. I'll go for Power Whip. I'm not too afraid of late game Quagsire just because Durant can overwhelm it in combination with Halucha. Unfortunately, we miss a whip. Um, I'm still under the assumption this does not have Rapid Spin. As it appears to not. So, we'll get off Power Whip damage here, and then we'll pull switch into Mantine. Really bad that I let this thing take a Toxic. He's probably going to Dynamax here. Um, I will attempt to get rid of the boosts. As we're able to. Very nice. And then throw off a Scald. If he switches to Quagsire, I really don't care. Because the thing has been weakened, which is basically what I wanted out of Mantine. So we'll go down to the following Shadow Ball. Not a big deal. We can revenge it with Halucha, most likely. Yeah. Click Brave Bird. Knock this thing out. And then his response will probably be Claydol. I've got to be careful, though, that I don't... Like, like I should go Ferrothorn here, but I'm just worried he might have a setup sweeper that can take advantage of it being burned. So... I will go Ferro, though. As he throws off a Psychic. Okay. I'll get up another spike. I really want to stop these switch uh, switches that he's making. So now I'll throw off a leech seed, keep myself healthy. This is an interesting game. I can't really tell like who's fully at an advantage. That's really crabby that they did not give him um, Rabbit Spin on that thing. So Marshadow comes out. That's a threat. Fortunately, we got that Leech Seed on it. 
We're gonna have to sack something though. I'm thinking it's gonna be Vaporeon. As we can just protect here, get some extra chip damage with Elite Seed. As he Dynamaxes, okay. He is going for broke right now. Um, I'll try to protect again. As I'm able to get it, which is awesome. Um, but I gotta think about this because... No, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just thinking about what happened last game, or the other game with uh, Mamoswine. Where he was able to get off that really strong Shadow Sneak. So I think I need a Dynamax here. Go for the Max Airstream. So he's got a few plays. He's probably just going to go to Quagsire and try to Toxic. Clearly it doesn't really make any sense since uh, Psychic's going to do nothing. Any forfeits? I really don't want to end it on a forfeit, but like... I've been running for a little while here. So, probably going to call it with that. Um, really good session overall, I guess. So, that'll do it for us. We shall continue the grind another time. Thank you guys for watching as always. Uh, I'm out of here. Peace.